Rasik Mohan Prabhu. And if you guys don't know who Rasik Mohan Prabhu is, I mean, how can you not know? You know, he's he's absolutely incredible, and he's been serving Aradhi Kunj uh, for for a very long time, and and he serves so beautifully, and. You know, even just hearing him speak, whenever, you know, I hear him speak, you know, I hear him on, on fa the Facebook lives and stuff like that. You know, he, he speaks so beautifully. And not only that, he sings so beautifully and, and plays Madanga so beautifully. And he's just all rounded an amazing, amazing disciple and, and servant of Srila Gurudev. So, Rasik Mohan Prabhu, I'm going to pass it over to you. Om Jnana Timirandasya Jnana Jnana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Jena Tasmai Shri Guru Venamaha Vandeham Shri Guru Varam Shri Rupanuga Pravaram Brajarasara Sikang Chana Rayanam Tang Prapanam Shri Guru Charanam Vande Ramana Pristaya Bhutale Rupanuga Bhakti Damcha Kripa Murti Narayanam Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunita Ananda Shri Advaita Garadhar Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna everybody <clears throat> So I don't know how much time I have, but I guess you'll be holding up the sign when it's two minutes left to go, right? I thought it was supposed to be on by two. So I can go to about 2.30, is that all right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Wow, so Srila Gurudev's glories are unlimited. And I really feel like a dwarf trying to reach the moon speak about Gurudev's glories. I remember the devotees talking about Gurudev saying that <clears throat> if all the land was paper and all the oceans were ink, still we would not have enough space to write the glories of Srila Gurudev. Because <clears throat> we perceive Gurudev in this world according to our perception and how fortunate we were to be with him in the limited time we had. But yet, Gurudev is Radha Krishna's eternal associate, eternally with Mahaprabhu, performing Leela in endless Brahmandas and endless universes. So, still, we can try to speak a few things like a small baby tries to speak or tries to walk, and the parents become very happy. Srila Gurudev, there are so many gurus in the world. <clears throat> And there have been and there will be. And yet Srila Gurudev, he had such a powerful presence, sweetness, and also his message that wasn't something that was so commonly found. Even in the Gaudiya line, something that was often very hidden, that Gurudev fearlessly broadcast. Gurudev would tell the devotees, do not be... Like kittens and mice, I want you to be very bold, lions and lionesses, to his sons and daughters, Gurudev would say. And yet, Gurudev's, you know, we can find many people who are very strong, courageous, but yet Gurudev was boldly presenting such a soft, sweet, intimate thing. It's very astonishing to see that, that Gurudev would boldly proclaim everywhere. Madhava. That what Atapa Rahita Surai Nahi Jani Radha Anadhara Kuresh Abhimani. Those who are only worshiping Krishna without Shimati Radhika, they're very proud. They're very proud. Radhika Dhasi Jadi Hoy Abhiman Shigrai Milaita Ava Gokula Khan. Guru, they would say, those who have the pride, the Abhiman, generally we think these things are bad things lust, anger, greed, pride. But Spiritual life is such a wonderful thing that everything can have its positive position. Lust. Oh, I am, have come to worship and serve Sri Krishna, devotion for Krishna. Anger. Those who are against the devotees. Even pride. What is the good pride? Radhika dasi jadi hoi abhiman sigrai milaita va gokula khan. If we develop the attitude that I am the servant of the servant of the servant of Srimati Radhika, 
very quickly, Krishna will come running behind us. So Srila Gurudev gave us this message and he didn't preach it also in a sentimental way, or you could say without strongly following, you know, all the rules and regulations. Gurudev showed us with examples like Raghunath Swami. Raghunath Swami had the most anurag, the most attachment to Radharani's service, but yet his vairagya, vairagya patanera reka, his strong following of the principles of bhakti was like lines etched in stone. So Srila Gurudev was like that his whole life. Even before he joined the Mutt in the 40s, he was chanting one lakh Harinam every day. And then throughout, you know, Gurudev spoke this in his own interviews for 60 plus years, every day chanting one lakh Harinam, two lakh Harinam. Gurudev would say at least one lakh, sometimes two lakh, sometimes more. And so Gurudev was so firm in his devotion like that. But not only that, I feel that, you know, I feel myself very fortunate that at a young age, when I was nine years old, Srila Gurudev came into my life. They say the great personalities, they come to us. We are very foolish, ignorant, I am con ignorant conditioned soul. I did not go to Gurudev. Gurudev came to me in New Braj and he swept up our whole community and he brought us to his lotus feet, brought us into his pocket. And he said, I'm taking you in my pocket. I will offer you like flowers to Shiradha Govinda, Shirad Shamsundar. So from young age, from our time I was nine, every, my whole life just was all based on Srila Gurudev. When he was young, Gurudev was described to be like a Chakravarti. Chakravarti means someone around everyone revolves. And I think that's probably true for a lot of Gurudev's disciples that from the time they met Gurudev, it was always like, when will I next see him? When will it next be Kartik and I will go to see him? When will it next be, uh, he will come to New Braj or he will come, I went, you know, in Hawaii, Hawaii we would, would see Gurudev or in Alachua or, you know, the European festivals. It was all about, oh, when will we next see Gurudev? And so it was so special um, to always have the chance to, you know, really Gurudev, real Guru is like that. He is Vyas. We're celebrating Vyas Puja. So it's Vyas is one who connects us from the material realm to the spiritual realm. He is that line dissecting matter and spirit and connecting us to the higher transcendental realm. So everything became, you know, centered on Guru Bhakti. But Gurudev, he did not just teach us to worship himself. Gurudev taught us pure Bhakti. Many Gurus are there who say, worship me, I am like God. But Gurudev was never like that said, worship Sri Krishna with pure devotion. They said, how are we going to worship Krishna? What is pure devotion? Who are the examples of the purest devotion? Therefore, Gurudev would say, idam vidro gam asu apinoti achidena He said, you should try to follow the footsteps of those who have this real love for Krishna in the purest sense. And therefore, you should try to follow the Brajabhasis, especially the Brajadevis. And those Brajadevis who are themselves in the very intimate service of Srimati Radhika. Therefore, Gurudev gave us that vision that was very rarely seen. Anarpita, Charim, Chirat, Karunaya, Avatirna, Kalao. Mahapuru came to give us that. But Mahapuru engaged and relied upon Radhika's own kinkaris to do that. Mahapuru is Krishna with Radhika's mood. So he was practicing, tasting the moods of Srimati Radhika. But then who did he send to broadcast this everywhere? He sent Srila Gurudev. He sent the six Goswamis, Vishnu Chakravati Thakur. All of our acharyas are building up this. It's described like the palace of the Bhagavatam. And the top of the palace of the Bhagavatam, the moods of Srimati Radhika's service to Sri Krishna and service to Srimati Radhika. So many acharyas come. We have to build the platform. We have to build the palace. But what did Gurudev do? Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada talks about this. The most important temple to build is not just the external temple. That's very important. But even more important, the temple of the Bhagavat and the temple in the heart. Gurudev said, I'm installing thousands of temples in all the hearts of the devotees. But Gurudev's special service, not just building the foundation. Gurudev was installing the heart. What is that heart? Seva Kunj. Gurudev brought and gave us Seva Kunj. This is the heart. Otherwise, you may make such a big opulent place. 
But if Seva is not there, if you're not serving the divine couple, and if they're not at the center, everything, oh, just for name, fame, followers, wealth, position, vocation. But Gurudev gave us this deepest, most intimate thing. I remember one story, Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj, he glorified Gurudev once saying, people were asking him, oh, why is Srila Narayan Maharaj speaking so much about Braj Katha, about the gopis? Is this proper? And he replied that this is the special essence of the Gaudiya Sampradaya that the Acharyas have come to give. But not all of us have Takurani's instruction to broadcast this widely. We are all doing this Manasi Seva, internally serving these pastimes. But Takurani, Shimati Radhika, specifically gave instruction to her very dear own Kinkari associate, Srila Gurudev, to broadcast this everywhere, fearlessly. So Srila Gurudev performed this service. And that's why we see, I remember in Karti, 2009, when the Pujari of Shimati Radhika at Seva Kunj, Showing again the connection to Seva Kunj. Gurudev said, Seva Kunj is my heart. So Shamarani Mataji made this Seva Kunj painting by Gurudev's direction. All the little details directed by Gurudev. And he said, this is my heart. So in 2009, Kartik, the Pujari of Srimati Radhika in Seva Kunj Brindavan, came late at night to Sripad Madhav Maharaj with Radhika's Prashadi, Tulsi, Mala, and Prashad and said, Thakurani Srimati Radhika has sent this to your Gurudev. Again and again, she was waking me up and saying, quickly, go take my prasad to him. That who is he? Actually, he is she. He is my very dear maidservant. Now he is in his Gaur Parashad group. He's in his form as Mahapur's associate, broadcasting Raga Marga Bhakti Loke Kodite Prachar, broadcasting this sweet Raga Bhakti. But really, he is my Kinkari. So it was seen by the devotees as like a sign that, oh, now Shmati Radhika is again calling Gurudev back into her service. So that time was very difficult for a lot of us. We know Srila Gurudev soon entered his sickness pastimes. And I've been thinking the last few days that on one hand, I feel very fortunate that I met Gurudev when I was nine years old. And so from that point on, you know, every time Gurudev would see me, he would say, now you're young, when you grow up after Gurukul, I want you to be a brahmachari, serve my mission. Every time you would see me, you would tell me like that. And so since then, I've been trying somehow or other in my whatever small capacity. <clears throat> but yet, I would, you know, if I was more fortunate, I would have met Gurudev when he was young in the mat. And then I could spend my whole life with Gurudev. Now we have to look forward at a long life or short life. But any, whatever years I have, you know. Gurudev is not directly in our vision, so therefore it is like, what, what, are, we, what are we here to do? What, how can we continue on? Our only hope, my only hope is that, you know, Gurudev would say, we're not here in this world to pass our time idly. We should take this precious message and follow this practice in our life and also share it with others, Guru Seva. So Guru Seva is the most important, it said, Sarva sadhana mukya hi guru seva sadhadrata yaya bhaktir bhagavati yanja sayat sukhavaha. The easiest and best process of bhakti is guru seva. So guru seva is harinam. Guru seva is chanting our mantras. Guru seva is preaching. Guru seva is publishing books. Guru seva is all of these things. If we understand they are my gurudev's seva. If this is pleasing to gurudev, then I will do it. Then we can feel that connection. So I'll just end with this thought that before we were always thinking, oh, Gurudev will come once a year to see us in our area, or we'll go to see Gurudev on tour. We'll go to see Gurudev at Kartik. We'll go to see Gurudev in Navadvip. So now, where do we go to see Gurudev? It's more difficult. Now also COVID makes things more difficult to travel, more difficult to move around. So we can see, Bhakti Raksha Siddhar Maharaj would say that there's always Krishna's smiling face in every circumstance. So now it's a time that we can go to see Gurudev internally. Chanting Harinam, remembering Gurudev. Raghunath Taska Swami prays, Chapan Danda Ratri Dine, Janina Radha Govinda Divine, Tarpar Chari Danda Suti Thake Swapne Radha Govinda Deke. That because Raghunath was always absorbed in serving Radha Govinda in his waking life, then even in his dreams, he would be serving Radha Govinda. So I pray that I can serve Srila Gurudev constantly by body, mind, and speech, Tanman Vachan, 
with all my waking hours. And then hopefully Srila Gurudev will also appear in my dreams because otherwise, where can we find Srila Gurudev now? We can also find Gurudev in our God brothers, God sisters. Gurudev is in the hearts of everyone. But now it's a chance and a time to go internal and to pray to Gurudev, to follow the process, to have faith in the process, to have faith in Srila Gurudev's transcendental nature and position. Gurudev, it said that if we think Gurudev is a mundane mortal, we'll be residing in a hellish condition. Arche Vishnu Shiladir Guru Sunara Matir Vaishnava Jati Budi. If we think, oh, Gurudev is a man, a great preacher who came and, you know, taught about Bhakti path, you know, this path, and then, you know, he left, he died. Then Guru Sunara Matir Yas Yasa Narakisa. It's like living in hell. Gurudev, we, it's like we have this diamond in our hand and we cast it aside. Gurudev is not an ordinary mundane personality, man, mundane man or woman. Gurudev is Nitya Lila Pravishta. He is eternally in Radha Krishna's pastime serving them. He is eternally present. Therefore, today I'm remembering Gurudev and trying to connect there. I just, I'll reference one pastime. I won't tell the pastime. Just to end. Shamananda Prabhu, when he was very old, his disciples were always afraid, oh, Guru Maharaj will leave soon. And so one time it appeared that he entered Samadhi. Same thing happened with Nartam Das Thakur. When he was very old, he was sowing sickness pastimes and everyone began to ridicule him. And then they took him, he, he went to the Ganga, bathed in the Ganga and he began dancing like a young man, showing that he is transcendental. Shamananda Prabhu, when he was very old, one time he went into a trance and everyone thought he, he was not breathing. They checked his pulse was not there. For two, three days, he was like that. So Ram Chandra Kaviraj came and he said, don't disturb him. I will also sit in trance in Samadhi and go wherever he is and see what is the holdup. So he went into Samadhi. He saw his Guru Maharaj was there at Radhakun searching for Radhika's touring. And then they found it together. Then they came back and again appeared. Another pastime, Shamananda, for once, he was so absorbed in Radha Krishna's holy lila that when he came out of his trance, he saw his whole body covered in holy colors. People thought, how is that possible? Raghunath Asuka Swami, there's so many stories like that. So we should understand Gurudev is eternally in that realm. He is the spiritual, like a sun. When the sun rises and sets, we don't say the sun has died. The sun rises, the sun sets, never dies. So Gurudev is in that realm. Sometimes he comes to this world. So I'm trying to pray and connect to Gurudev in that transcendental realm. And it's so important to always have, you know, honor and respect to everyone, to all our God brothers and God sisters. You know, when the gopis were in separation from Krishna, they came together and they prayed. They prayed together. They sang Gopi Geet. You know, alone, alone, we have no strength. This path of bhakti is very hard. Kali Yuga is full of so many faults. It's so difficult. But together we have a chance. So it's so important to have these programs together. And I want to thank everyone so much for giving me this opportunity. Thank you so much, Prabhu. I feel like I could hear you speak for hours and hours and hours and not get bored. I wish we had more time.